guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know, hey, my name is Anissa and for my oldies, what's goody? So today I am back with a, another review and I'm trying the Revlon Titanium Max Edition One Step Volumizer. This is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like out of the box. I did read the instructions. I'm a direction follower type of gal. So, uh, but the directions really didn't help with saying how to use this thing or anything like that. It just told you what not to do in terms of where to put it because of the heat, all that good stuff. So we're just going to figure it out as we go along. As you can see, my hair is wet. I just showered. If you were wondering what I use to wash my hair, recently I've been using this Ren Pure Plant Based Beauty in, in coconut and vitamin E. It says hydrate and replenish shampoo, zero gluten dyes, sulfates, paraffins, and all of this other stuff that I can't really pronounce. It smells awesome, it works lovely, and I kind of just change back and forth in this line. They have a bunch of different ones, but I usually will rotate them and come back to this more often than the other. Pair that with the Hydrate and Replenish Conditioner. And that's what that looks like. And then I top that all off with this Heritage by Mindy McKnight Leave-In Conditioner. This bottle has surprised, surprisingly lasted me quite a long time. I'm getting down to the end of it right now. Um, and I did get this at Walmart, so it wasn't that expensive. Sulfate, paraffin, gluten, mineral oil, color safe, cruelty free, vegan, restores, soften, restores, softens, and detangles hair while fighting frizz. And um, yeah, so I really love this stuff as well. This is my first bottle. Have not had to repurchase another one yet, but getting down to that point, I have had longer hair for most of my life. And because of that, I've gotten used to the care of longer hair. I know with short hair, it may seem easier because you have less hair to work with. But for me, it's a little bit harder to manage, to style. Yeah. So I usually will let my hair air dry and then straighten it, or I'll just let it air dry and kind of just rock out with that. So I was interested in this because it does do more like a salon blowout and it's a one step process where you dry and style at the same time. I don't use that much heat on my hair, especially because I have cut out all of the coloring and I'm just in this phase of being more natural. I was blonde for like 10 years of my life and I tried almost every color except blue that you can try on your hair. So my hair has been very damaged and I recently, I'm not recently, I cut it about a year ago to get it back to its health after dyeing it and bleaching it for so much. My hair was falling apart and falling out. I wanted to start over. I saw this, I wanted it, but my mom ended up purchasing it before me it didn't really work for her, so I decided to give it a go and see how it would work for me. There are four settings, or actually three settings on the bottom here. There is cool, low, and high. And you just rotate this to get it to where you like it. My only uh, thought on this was that it is extremely large and I have not much hair to deal with or to use it on in the back. I'm actually planning on cutting my hair again in a few days. So just experimenting with 
if this would work on short hair is mostly my question. Let's get started. I'm not doing anything too formal or crazy because this is more functional and supposed to be for everyday use the way I see it. So I don't, um, I'm not gonna be sectioning off my hair as though I would do that on a normal everyday basis. I'm just doing it loosely to see how it works. So right away, I notice that although this is a thicker, round brush and my hair is short, it still allows me the room to work with it where I don't feel as though my hair is like slipping out of it, I guess. I do have it on high when I'm using it. And as you can see, this side is curling inward while this side for some reason, for some reason is curling outward even though I'm doing the motion the same way. Not really not really sure what that's about. You do seem to have to go through it a few times. I think around, I did four times per section and it is feeling fairly dry at this point. And at first I was doing quicker, I was doing it quicker and I think it's actually seems to be better if you do it a little bit more slowly. I am doing bigger sections like I said because I do want this to be more functional that I can use every day. And I'm honestly not gonna be sectioning my hair off in tiny little sections when that just takes longer. I don't know why, but it's, uh, it's curling outward, but I don't like it. I'm just, I'm curling it inward, so I'm not sure why it's moving the opposite direction.
here we have it all done and blown out. I am surprisingly pleased and impressed with this product. Um, that was super easy and simple to use. It was very, very quick. And as you could tell, I didn't really even take time to section my hair. I was letting pieces fall and just going with it. And it turned out just awesome. I definitely am not one that is that great with a blow dryer and the curling brush. My hair always gets stuck in it and um, the blowout doesn't turn out that great. I at some point mastered when my hair was about this long, um, a blowout, but after I blew it out, I would pin curl it. And the only reason that it would turn out looking good is because of the pin curls. Because if I left it as a blowout, it, um, like one side would be like this and one side would be like this. And that I don't, um, that's a look I don't necessarily like. So this is revolutionary for women that cannot blow their hair out or have difficulty. It's also really hard to manage a curling brush in one hand and the blow dryer in the other, especially when you have to switch it over and do it on the opposite side with your non-dominant hand. So this is awesome that you can use your dominant hand throughout same time. I noticed that holding onto this section as I move was simpler and easier and allowed the hair to flow as it was being blow dried in a timely fashion, I guess. It wasn't like just fall, the hair wasn't falling out. Um, my hair is definitely dry. I will turn around so you can see the back. Obviously this is the front. I would give this product um, really a five out of five. I love this and again, it makes the one step process so much easier to blow dry your hair as soon as you get out of the shower and have it straight and have this salon looking blowout without having to wait the time that you wait if you let your hair air dry or to blow dry your hair separate and then straighten it. So this is definitely a time saver and functional and I love everything about that. This little thing is awesome though. I do just wanna try it on cool really quickly through my hair just so that I can see um, the cooling aspect of it. Very nice, awesome, awesome. Very excited about this product, very excited about this find. Um, shout out to my mom for picking it up and even though it didn't work for her, totally works for me. We made it to the end of the video. Hashtag blowout in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow your girl on all of my social media, which is namaste underscore Nisa. And as always, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and Ring that bell so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Until next time, I love you, I love you. Peace from Nisa.